and now we're going to create our sweep. Let's try starting this from a 3D view over here just so we can kind of get a little bit of a feel for it. So now we're going to create a sweep. So we say, okay, it's going to be a solid sweep. It's not going to be a void sweep. So I'm going to say solid. Oops, that's a blend. Uh, cancel out of that. Uh, back to home. Solid sweep. Creates a 3D shape by sweeping a 2D shape along a path. So you click on there. And now that it's important, it says um, we can sketch the path or we can pick the path. In this case, we've already created our reference line. So we're going to say pick the path. This is important. So we go pick, pick, pick. Now you'll notice that it put a, a little origin point at the midpoint of the first segment. Okay, I'm going to hit escape, escape. Now I can grab this guy and actually drag that around now click out. So if I don't like where that reference uh, plane was, I can move that around. As long as I'm not in the pick a plane, as long as I hit escape and I'm back down to this mode over here. So I mean I can just kind of leave it where it is there. So that looks good. So when I go to draw the um, the profile, it's going to you know be really easy to draw it from here. Okay. If I wanted to draw the profile from this angle, I would put my reference plane up at the back over here. So it depends on what you're drawing, you know, where you might want to put that reference plane. Okay, if I go right side, then I can draw that profile from there. Okay, if I shift middle mouse button around here, and I grab it and put it down to here, and I go to the front, well, I'm not going to really be able to draw that profile. What I need to do is go to the top, which is over here. Okay, and in, in a 3D view like this, I don't think you're allowed to draw it anyway, but I'm just using this as a tool. So uh, back to my regular default 3D view go home and so that looks good so I've created the um, path so I say finish the path okay now I need to create the little profile that's going to get swept along there so if I have um, a, I can load a profile I can select a profile off of my drop down list of profile families that are loaded into this project or I can just say edit profile which prompts me to draw a new profile and it doesn't prompt me to change my view because I'm in a 3D view so I really need to go to my level over here and all I have to do is draw a little circle so I say okay circle and I pick on here and I start to drag out and maybe I want to create a, a, a parameter for the actual radius to make it so I can do that. So I'm going to click out here and say well I'm going to pick in oops that's not what I wanted I wanted a circle. Click on here delete circle. I thought that looked funny so I'm going to go out here and I'm going to say you know um, maybe it's going to be an inch and a half in diameter so I'll say 0.75 which would be the radius. Oops that made it 0.75 feet. Pick in here 0.75 inches. So that's an inch and a half tube. Escape, escape. Now I want to make that into a uh, parameter. So I'll say, okay, let's add a dimension, uh, radial here, and then just place that. Escape, escape. Now the size of it is based on this. If I change this to be a quarter inch, uh, or I should say, make this uh, three inches equals one foot, it'll get a bit smaller. Okay, so now I can pick on this guy and turn it into a parameter and say add a parameter. We'll say grab bar DIA. Might as well finish that. Instance, dimensions, hit OK. Oh, radius. It should be radius. So I need to go back into here and back into diameter and hit modify and say not diameter, radius. hit OK, hit apply, hit OK, click out, OK. So now what I've got is I've got my um, path and my profile. So I say finish the profile. Now that I'm done that I can go back and forth. I can say edit profile or I can say select path um, or select pick path and repick. So while I'm inside of here I can go back and forth between path and profile, path and profile, until you get what you want. And then you say finish the sweep, and then it actually creates the sweep, and then we click out. And now we have our um, our first part of it. Now let's go to, uh, let's try flexing it. We have a little bit of time, we'll go to our family types. Uh, bar length, two feet, hit apply, perfect. Bar height, two feet, hit apply, perfect. Okay. Bar diameter, 2 inches. Be careful because if it starts to encroach upon itself inside of here, you'll have a problem. If I try to change this to be 3 inches, it probably will fail. 
No, it's actually doing it. Interesting. Uh, one foot. Yeah, there. So, um, so we'll leave it at uh, we'll leave it at uh, 0.75 inches. Okay, reasonable. Hit apply. So that seems to be working. We hit OK, and maybe we'll um, load it into a project. So we'll come back in our next lesson. We flex this. Seems to be working. We'll load it in a project and see how it's going.